That's Justine Browning for We Got This Covered here at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City for the premiere of Gimme Shelter. Mommy loves you. Show me back! You hear me? You need me! I understand that you did three weeks worth of research in terms of living in the homeless shelter where the film is set. After that experience, what did you decide to incorporate into your performance that wasn't necessarily in the script? Um, I, I think honestly being there for me was really about just getting to know the girls and really understanding the struggle and, and the abuse that they've been through because um, that's something I've never really witnessed that much of so I, I just really wanted to dive into their lives firsthand um, but then the rest of it really was kind of just my idea that I have for the character and then of course with Ron my director collaborating with me and I don't know we just kind of built this thing up. Ron Krause did say that he chose you for the role because he showed women, your, the women who actually went through this from the yeah. shelter, footage of you auditioning and they chose you. What do you think it was about that that they connected with in your audition? I don't know, you gotta ask them. <laughs> I don't know, I just went in there and, and did, did my best and I don't know, I think that I was very passionate about the project. Um, so maybe they saw that, but I don't know. It's just a blessing that I was able to do this. And you said you admire and doubt your co-star's career so much. I wonder what specifically about it you I love the fact that she is so brilliant in everything that she does, but she doesn't necessarily have people running down the street chasing and yelling her name. I think that's the coolest career. What I love about this film is it revolves around women, but the women are not constantly discussing men. It's about women's lives, women's friendships, and it's women of color and it's poor women of color and you really never see that. Yeah. What do you think it's going to take for Hollywood to finally start making more movies about about those people? Um, I think it requires different people becoming part of the industry and business, you know. I think it's finding money in unusual ways and supporting writers and directors, especially females getting their stories out because, you know, and unusually with this one it's a, it's a writer director who's a man, but Usually, statistically, it takes having more women be a part of a production to kind of get that. But I don't think that that's necessarily true. I mean, I'm a feminist, but men are feminists as well. It really doesn't take that. It doesn't mean that you have to be of color to do a film that revolves around people of color. Like, it's just really about, a lot of times, people with the funds, actually, being able, putting money behind. Because there's plenty of writers out there, plenty of directors out there, plenty of people out there. That's why you have someone like Robert Rodriguez, who started El Rey. And just going because he's baffled that you know he was able to make his first film and, and you know seven ten thousand dollars, and ended up because of it getting so much support he was able to keep doing and he just expected a plethora of people to come behind him, and not understanding how that didn't happen and understanding the reason why is because they don't have some place to actually show their work because the work is being made and so that's why he's creating El Rey. So it just takes people like that to kind of and making sure that you go and support films like this and let everybody know this content will be watched it's, it's consumable people want it you know so it works on every single angle 10 years ago the face of homelessness looked a lot different and this film really shows how that's changed because most of us are one step away from that if you think about that most of the population is yeah. how do you think the film effectively captures that it's amazing that you picked up on that i mean that was like a major thing for me when i was making this film i mean really uh, we were facing some of the worst economic times in the history of our country. And the face of homelessness, like you said, has changed. It's no longer like a, a, a drunk guy in the alley, you know, an old guy. It's you and me and everybody else, uh, our friends, our families, people who live paycheck to paycheck. And I really discovered that, that this film really taps into that as we sort of went across the country and we're showing people the film. And it really also talks about the definition of what family is today and diversity and like single mother, single father, foster care and that we all belong together, that we're not an outcast if we don't have the perfect family. 